Loops. The loops are used to execute all type of repetitive tasks. Stata has three type of loops, for values, for each, and while. First, let me copy paste the global macro golden that we used in the previous section. If you remember, the value of this macro is around 1.62. The for value command runs over a series of numbers. A local macro called n will take values from 1 to 10, with an increasing step of 1. So n will be 1 in the first loop, then 2 in the second loop, then 3, up to 10. It's a good practice to enclose the loops in braces. For each loop, I want to calculate the golden number to the power of n. So first loop will be 1.62 to the power of 1. Second loop, 1.62 to the power of 2. 1.62 to the power of 3, and so on. Since the golden number is a global macro, I use the dollar sign, right? The result is what we call a Fibonacci type sequence. For each, it runs over a list of elements that can be numeric or strings. I use the local list 2 for this example. List 2 adds a list of string elements, words, the braces. In this loop, the local macro word takes values over the elements of the list 2. The list 2 itself is a local macro, so I need to write it between the two characters we have talked about. I want this loop to display each word in list 2. Let me add the continue command. This tells Stata not to break a new line every time the display command is executed. Let's see the result. It looks just normal, but each word of this sentence has been displayed separately. The last type of loop is the while. Braces. Before the loop, I will set two counters. The first counter is i starting at 0, the second counter is j and starts at 1. The loop while will keep running until the counter i takes a value greater of equal to 1500. I want Stata to display the two counter values on each loop. You need to be careful because a while loop could run forever if i doesn't increase its value. At the end of the loop, I will be redefined as the sum of the current value of i plus the current value of j. Same thing for j, but using the new i. I know this is getting complicated. What you need to remember is that with the while loops, counters need to attain the stopping rule at some point. Otherwise, they will run forever. Now let's see if this loop is worth the troubles. Here it is, the very true Fibonacci sequence. 